So what's going on? Well, I knew it was a long shot making it to the Prohibition Show with the old Catalina. And I was right, we're not gonna make it. I got the transmission back this afternoon, but it's Friday afternoon uh, and Prohibition Show is tomorrow morning or tomorrow during the day. So, uh, you know, I may, I may be able to get the transmission in, but I'm not gonna be able to test it. Uh, driving around enough that I'm gonna feel confident to drive over to Wilkesboro to the show. So I'm gonna work on uh, putting this back in. Everything's in reverse. I'm gonna use my straps and the lift once again to lower the transmission down. I, you know, I could grab this thing and lay it down, but uh, I mean, I'm older. I don't wanna mess my back up. So I'm gonna put the straps on. I'm gonna lay it down, get it all lined up, get it started, go back in. I gotta put my converter in there, slide it in. So, uh, but anyhow, uh, big thanks to Dan up to the garage, up to 89 Speed Shop for getting this put together for me and uh, me be able to put it back in. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Like I was saying, it's just the uh, same thing I did in reverse, about straps on it and then I'm going to lower it down. So on this level, as level as I can get it in that way, easier. You know what happened? The jack handle just fell out. The jack handle fell out, and when it did, look at this. Always stuff like this happens to me. My jack handle come out, and we did this spring up. I gotta pull that back down and give my jack handle back in. Evidently, my my bolt come loose. Always something going on. Holy moly! That's tight. Now what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave where it's at, and I'm gonna try to balance it and lower the uh, car down. So I'll get back with you. It was too low just to lower the uh, car. So that's balance. Okay. That's fairly level. Okay, you can see how close I'm getting. I'm just uh, just working up slow with the jack and watching where I'm going. I'm looking for these pins right here. This pin. There's one on each side, so that's what I'm working up to. If I get it on them pins, uh, then it should slide in place, and then I get a bolt to it. Just a little at a time. Let me go up and forward.
mal gehen. Okay, I'm looking for that pin. Go up a little more over here. You can even see over there yet. I'm gonna go up a little more. It started on this pin over here, which shows how to line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a bolt down here if I can. I wouldn't recommend sticking your head under this jack like I just did, but. Okay, y'all let me know when that gap closes up, brother. Please. We got. Like closed. Hey, is it? So I'm not an actor. If you have any idea how many times I start and stop this camera, probably multiply that by 10 because that's what I do. I mean, I can't talk plain. I back up. I say something stupid. I back up. And so anyway, that's, that's the way it goes with me. But if you saw the prohibition video, you see that the cattle landing is done. So that's what I'm working on this week. I'm going to try to get it. Uh, I've got the transmissions bolted in. And I'm getting ready to put the cross finger back up here. I didn't realize there was going to be so much trouble uh, to find a rear transmission mount. But this mount right here, it's, uh, you know, they have the, uh, the, the rubber to where the tail shaft, the transmission, the rhythm transmission kind of floats or it moves. Well, all the rubber stuff had rotted off and this was just like this. Now I thought about welding that up and running a solid tail shaft to like get one, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, like I say, I'm in no big hurry now, get this thing finished. So I've looked around and the ones I see that calls out for this, it has offset holes, but you can see my holes are in line here. They're not offset. So, and none of the like AutoZone, Advance, Horizons, none of them lists a rear transmission mount. So anyhow, I figured. Morning guys. So I had to take a couple of days off and uh, <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm back home to uh, Catalina this morning and I'm going to try to uh, get everything kind of wrapped up, get down off the lift and test this transmission out and see how it does. So uh, I got to finish, uh, I got to finish bolting up the converter, uh, got to put other, you bolt them up. 
uh, drive shaft and check to see what else I have to do. Drop it down, fill it up with fluid. So anyhow, it's kind of what we're doing. Yeah, I think it's time for a test drive. Or maybe just around the yard test drive. I've uh, got the fluid up about the level I want to. I wanted to maybe drive it around a little bit. I don't want to overfill it. So let's, uh, let's see what happens around the yard. See if it will fire up. Well, you know, the main thing is see if we have reverse. Yeah, that was the first thing. It's just, uh, first thing is just see if we have reverse. I've not fixed them up yet. Got a lot going on. Chicken, you don't want to.
Brian did a pretty good job. We'll uh, let's pull it out right here. I mean, chasing chickens. Yeah. 